So many times I thought you'd leave me Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity I don't believe in happy endings Bottom of my heart and hope you'd still love me in the end Didn't want to leave your heart Kamani's first bidding up session. Um, if you guys don't know what bidding up is, it's there's a couple of different ways to do it. The way I do it is using either a saddle or in her case a surcingle. <laughs> and I take some reins, attach them to a bit, and I loop them really loose to the surcingle. She has broken a couple of the loops on my surcingle, so and so has Boog. So I'm going to try and do them on the same level, so they might be up higher than normal until I get a new surcingle, so don't worry about that. So for those of you that don't know, when a horse's head's up, their back is hollowed. So when you see these horses backing up on the ground or under saddle with their heads clear up here, their backs are hollowed out, so they're not using their muscles or gaining any muscles. So by putting on a surcingle in a bit and bidding her up, it's asking for her head to come down about here, it's sometimes lower, sometimes a little bit higher, depending on the person's preference. And when they do this, their back goes straight and is not hollow, flies. And it helps build their top line and makes their back stronger. And there's tons of other different ways to do it. I like to do it for the first while with really loose reins. I personally don't like it when those people have the reins so cranked that the horse's mouth is gaping open or there's no release. So the way I do it is if her head's clear up here, the reins will tighten. If her head's maybe about here or a little bit lower, then her back's going to be straight and she's going to be using those muscles and it's going to make her back good and strong and make her use her muscles. So I honestly do think she's pregnant. She has been off grass for six days now, and she has not had any increase in food, no new grain, no extra hay, nothing, the same amount the last, I don't know, three months. <laughs> so I honestly do think she's pregnant because it's hard to tell on camera, but she is way wider. I know on camera she looks really thin. She's not, guys. I mean, in person, she's big. So Blue Rock, uh, thank you for the suge suggestion. Said I should measure her belly. God, I hate that word. Said I should measure her belly and see how big it is and kind of track it. And go from there. So we're going to do that. So I think you're supposed to do it around this area back here. If you guys can see how low and how far out this is. I mean, Boog's fat, but Boog's on grass 24-7. Yeah, I called you fat, Boog. So I think what you're supposed to do, I'm going to drop a little bit more just in case. I'm going to rub her all over. And six feet, nine inches. Um, I'm not sure what that means. So her belly is six feet and nine inches round. I hired you're supposed to do that? If I did it wrong, I'm sorry. I, I don't breed horses. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get her flexed and groomed and warmed up, backing up, softening. And then we'll get the bit on her and see you guys when we're bidding her up. Health issues. Don't even know if she is pregnant or not. Hi. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering. We're going to get on with the video. Okay, bye. <laughs> so... I want to show you guys how she's going to do with the bit because it's been a while since I put the bit on. It's not something I generally practice unless they're extremely mouthy with it. She's mouthy with it for the first few minutes and then she's fine normally. Um, and normally I have two sets of rain, one on each side, but I always, uh, that's like further advanced when I'm going to start tightening it a little bit. What I always do is get one pair of, a, I call them a single rain or a loop rain. I'm not sure what the actual term for them is. But I'll take one pair, put it on there, put the bit on, and just 
run it through. When I feel like she can handle a tiny little bit tighter, I'll do that and wrap, just uh, unclip it from the snaffle, wrap it through the thing one more time, I'll explain that, and clip it back on. So I'm not sure how she's going to do the bit. She's pretty good about me putting things on her face. It's just when I go to put them in her mouth, her head kind of goes up. So that is something we're going to start working on. So I like to put it on like this. See how she's already raising her head? I'm just going to keep my hand there. And there she lowered her head, so I'll take it away. Push her head back this way. She's already raising. Drop her head. I don't worry too much about it because she's not really, really, really bad. <laughs> See her taking her head away from me and bowing that face out. I'm just going to pull it back and say, nope. Just keep a hold of that head. Pull her back. Pull her back. I don't worry too much about the little fit that she just gave me. She hasn't had it in in a while, so I kind of expect a little bit of resistance. And she wasn't too horrible. I mean, she was taking her head away from me and raising it a little bit, but she wasn't like getting her head clear up in the sky. She wasn't slamming her head up and headbutting me or anything like that. So I'm not going to stress out about it. I'm just going to keep asking her and bringing her head back to me and fix it that way and eventually doing this every day she'll she'll stop doing it so you can see she plays with it that's normal um it's got two wrinkles some people say three some people say four i've heard some people say five i'm fine with two or three she's gonna mouth it a little bit but that's fine so what i'm gonna do so all I'm going to do is unsnap my hook here, bring it back, and run it through one of the rings here. When I start asking her more, then I'll wrap it like twice like that, but I'm not asking for that right now. And then I'll bring it up here to hook it, and I'll do it on the other side too. She's not used to the pressure, so just help her out. Wrap it through here. Pretty much all this is doing right now is it's going to hold the reins in place. If I get her going a few laps and she's doing great and she's not fighting the bit, she's not, you know, tons of slobber or anything coming out, then I will wrap it through one more time and that'll be as much as we do for the day. You can see though, she already stopped playing with it. She already doesn't care. So I'm gonna bring her over here into the center, desensitize her, you guys will get to see that, and then we'll send her off. I like to start her off at a walk, but I know her, I know her personality, and when it's something new, she is more comfortable if she trots or canters first. So that's fine by me. If she wants to trot or canter, great. If I ask her for a walk and she doesn't give it to me, I'll just go up one more gate. If she's not comfortable wanting to go faster, I'll get her up one more gate. I want her to feel comfortable and confident, and that's why I do that. A lot of people will say, no, you need to force them to walk. It's something new, and if she feels like going, if she's more comfortable going at a faster gate, I'm going to allow it. It's not a big deal to me, at least not to me. So, and then when she gets used to being bedded up, then we'll start driving. Let her go. So 
I'm going to yield her butt and send her off. If she wants to walk, great. If she wants to trot, that's fine too. Let her breathe for a minute because it is hot. Kind of got like a lazy walk. Like, we got all day, I can go around the pin. Now, for her trot. I'm still getting used to this round pin being small. That's why I'm running around so much. I'm not used to having to go. Send her off again. 
I'm gonna yield that butt. She's ignoring me so she gets to work. I gave her a chance. She's not following. She has to work. She'll figure it out. It's only the second day. So I can use that to my advantage.
Yeah, well. All right, that was Kamani's first time being bitted up. And right now I'm gonna unpack her and I don't know, you guys can watch. That's all I'm gonna do for the first day. One, because it's so hot out and it's six o'clock at night and it is hot. And two, it's her first time. It's been a while since she's had a bit in. Her mouth is gonna have some foam. That's just from her playing with the bit. You can see she didn't really like that rain noise. That's okay. Some horses don't love the noise of the reins rubbing against the nylon. Great form. So I also want her to learn to kind of drop her head with the reins up there. So I'm going to leave them there and see if she gets her head there or not. It's been a while since she's had the sir single and the pad on her. Since last time you guys seen me do that stack challenge, actually. You guys can already see she's got a pretty good sweat on her. When it's hot, I don't like to work long. So if they're trying for me, I won't make them work super long. If they're giving me a really hard time, well, I'll work them until they're not giving me a hard time. You guys notice I kept her gone until she uh, wanted to change and keep her pace and pay attention. Nope. There. So she just brought her head up a little bit, so I just put my hand there and said, nope, I'd like it down, please. Thank you. So I'm going to hose her up. She always drinks and plays with it, but when I film, she won't do it. Do you want to drink on it? Come on, honey. Alright, be that way then. <laughs> <laughs> 